As you can see, I've got my wig cap on so that I can show you some tricks on how not to lose your wig if you're a pole dancer. First things first, this is a pretty standard wig cap and I would use this if I don't need too much protection from my wig slipping off. But another good option is if you can find one like this. This one that's got some holes in it. This will help you to put bobby pins in the inside while also protecting your hair. And I'll show you when would be a good instance to use this in a second. But after you pick your wig cap, you want to get some other type of securing method. I like these two. So you've probably seen these before. It's like a Velcro strip with little attachments in the back. And you can just stick them on your head. I would use this if you don't really care too much about the part. Um, but even if you do, that one's a great one. Or you can get one like this. that has got a little bit of lace in it. So if your wig has lace, you can just put this wherever your part would be. Right. And then you want to pull it down on the sides. This is pretty good for like everyday wear, but I wouldn't trust this if I wasn't just walking down the street. This is good, but if you go upside down, this is going to come off. So aside from that, next I like to move on to these little clips. So they've kind of got two little clamps. There's this one here, and then at the bottom... There's another one that lifts up. They've kind of got like a double clip thing going on. So you've got your regular bobby pin part. But then on this other end, there's another one where you can secure more stuff. These have a super duper strong hole. So what I like to do is come in the size where it would lift. So for example, maybe about here, I want to pull this taut. It's not going anywhere. I would probably put a few more, um, maybe one here behind the ear, another one over here, maybe two in the back. Um, but if you had a wig that's got open wefts in the inside, that is actually the best thing and I'll show you what I mean. Now I've got on the other wig cap with the holes in it, which is great because bobby pins can fit through these holes and actually get to your hair. What I was telling you about earlier with the open wefted wig, if you have a wig it's constructed like this on the inside this is the best because then you can get all up inside and pin it in here your fingers will reach through this wig I did hand make so you know it's hard to find but usually these types of wigs come with synthetic wigs unless you buy it yourself you can buy this type of wig cap if you're interested I can give you more information about making this this is actually a flip over wig but you could just do this with um uh, frontal also so when you attach this you can find these pieces in here and bobby pin the wefts in here these super long pins these are going to be your friend since this way has all those open wefts in the back you can just slide this in these open wefts and give you so much security. These little tiny pins are also great if you need to put a pin somewhere, but you can't use one that's really, really big or bulky. They also have some that come curved. Those are even better because they fit along the contour of your head.
it's secure. The most secure, secure way though. So I'm just gonna put the netted wig cap back on and then I'm gonna fit my wig over that and not worry about any of those other securing methods. From there, I'm just gonna take a comb and find where the frontal ends and I can feel the tracks. And then I'm gonna use a needle and thread to sew that area down to my foundational braids and the cap underneath. So don't sew into your frontal, just the area where you can feel the tracks. Make sure everything's pulled tight. Whichever of those methods you choose, it should help keep your wig secure and not come off your head but I wouldn't really suggest glue. The reason why is because glue is not meant for sports, right? And if you're actually doing tricks and climbing, you're gonna sweat. You really have to pace yourself so that you're not just doing too much and then drenched in sweat. And once you start, once you start sweating, the glue is gonna start lifting. You're gonna see all types of like gook. It's gonna look crazy. It's not cute. And you won't know you'll be dancing, doing your thing. And then you'll look in the mirror and it's like, ah! it's a whole horror show going on up here. Last trick to get your wig laying super flat and looking very natural without glue. Once you put the pins, right, someplace secure, you can do a better job of hiding it than I can. I'm just trying to show you a demonstration, you know. I would probably put this a little further back and like have some edges out, but nobody's gonna see that part, right? If you're on stage, nobody's gonna see it. If you're in class or a performance, no one's gonna see that. If this were all the way black, you definitely wouldn't see it, but it's kind of off brown. Um, and then just sitting talking to somebody, nobody's gonna see that. So don't have to worry about that. But this has nothing on it. It's just right and underneath. It slid back a little bit is my wig cap and the wig grip. So last thing to keep it to stay, you only need two things. What I like to do is take the lid off and dip the end of my comb in here and get just a little bit of product on there. And then I'm gonna lift this edge And just a very thin line of this. Push it down. And then you can use a hot comb or just a gel itself. A little bit here, a little bit here. Oop, put a lot. You would either hot comb this away. Hold a little piece. Comb through it, kind of pull it away and up, like straight up. And then you can comb around it. So you want to use a little less gel. I can see. I can't really see as well doing this in the camera. And then you just play with it until you get everything to lay the way that you want. But having it a little bit sticky up in here is fine. And so after you finish playing with it, you'll get it the way you want it. And just put in some powder along here. And up in here, tie it down with the scarf, you'll be good to go. No one will be able to tell. And it'll look great from on stage. No pulling the glue. If this pulls off, it's not going to look like a gluey, sticky mess. It's just going to look like nothing. If it's secured down, most likely it's not going to lift. So it's good enough hold. What did you think of the tips and tricks? Try them out, let me know what you think. Remember, secure them, secure them, secure them down. Don't just rely on glue. Don't just rely on that little band. Don't just rely on one little bobby pin that's not gonna be your friend and you're gonna be embarrassed on stage. I told you so. PC parents told you so. Don't lose your wig on stage, you're gonna be embarrassed. If you're not sure, just give it a little test, like a little small hair whip. If you feel a shift, then whoop. Take it easy, just lay it and try to mush it back, you know? 
You can even make it exaggerated, try to put it back in space, in its space, and then, you know, take it easy. And then when you're able to get free, then we'll check it, secure it down some more. If you like this episode, if you like my tips and tricks, leave me a comment. You know what to do. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you for the next one. Bye.